Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using stored procedure how to bind data with images from SQL Server database into repeater control. And here we got the final output. The data with images are binded into this repeater control using stored procedure. These images the original images I have stored in the project folder and this images path I have stored in this user registration table under profile pic column. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, table name is a user registration which contains four columns ID, username, password and profile pic. If you notice in the profile pic, actual images I have stored in the project images folder. Let's create a new stored procedure to fetch the records from this user registration table. This table user registration I have created in the sample db database. In the sample db database, there is a programmability folder. I'm expanding that one. Stored procedures, right click that one, new stored procedure. And here we got the stored procedure with the default code. The stored procedure name I'm adding dbo dot user registration. I'm deleting the parameters I don't require. In the select statement select start from the table name is dbo dot registration copy this one test here let's create this stored procedure execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's check the stored procedure is created in this stored procedures folder i'm refreshing the folder i'm expanding the folder and here we got the user registration now let's open visual studio just for the time saving, I have created a new ASP.NET application and in the source page contains simple HTML file code with some header tags h1, h2 and horizontal line. And in the server explorer, I have created an images folder which contains two images, football and green ball. And these images, the path have saved and the images path have stored in this table in the profile pic column. Now, after the horizontal line, I am adding a repeater control open toolbox. Come to the bottom. In the data folder, is the repeater control. I am adding that one. And here we got the repeater control. After adding the repeater control, right click the mouse, view code. Now in the code behind, first I am adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration After adding these three namespaces, next in the server explorer I am adding my sample db database. Right click the data connections, add connection. I am adding a SQL server name. After adding a SQL server name, I am selecting the database name, which is a sample DB. I have selected test connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here, sample db.dbo is added under data connections. We need the data source of the sample db, right click the sample db.dbo, go to properties. In the properties under connection string, there is a data source, copy that part, open solution explorer, open web.config file. Now in this web.config file, inside the configuration I am adding connection strings, add name is equals to my connection, connection string. I'm adding data source. The last parameter is a provider name, which is system dot data dot 
SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, switch to the code behind the page load event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one I'm basing here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command SQL command takes two parameters the first parameter I am adding between the double quotes my store procedure name the store procedure name is user registration copy this one paste here comma and the next parameter is the connection object which is the SQL con copy this one and paste here SQL con dot open method SQL con dot close method SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL con dot execute reader method after adding the execute reader method, I'm binding the data into the repeater control. Repeater one dot data source is equals to I'm adding the SGR, which is the SQL data reader object semicolon. And the last one repeater one dot data bind method. That's it. That's it. We have done the coding part to bind the data using store procedure into the repeater control but but in the repeater control we have to add the header templates item template and the footer template let's add that one header template item template footer template in the header template, I'm adding table border is equals to one. I'm closing this table in the footer. Now in the table, I'm adding tr th table headers to user profile th user image now in the item template I am adding tr td the first column is a user id I want to display in the bold letters the user details percentage hash eval method between double quotes now between these double quotes I'm adding the user ID column which is the ID copy this one paste here user name percentage hash eval between double quotes I am adding the username copy that one username here we give the break I want to display the user ID username and the password in the single column password bold tag percentage hash eval between double quotes I'm adding the column name password after adding the ID username and password I'm adding another TD for to display the image 
so let's add the image control in this image control I'm adding the property image URL is equals to I'm deleting the double quotes instead of that I'm adding single quotes percentage eval between double quotes to display the image we need the image path so let's add the image path column which is a profile pic copy that one test here height is equals to 100 width is equals to 100 and the last property I'm adding the alternate text if the image is failed to display on the browser I want to add the alternate text so I'm adding this username copy that one I'm deleting the double quotes I'm adding single quotes I'm adding the username friends here need to add the hash that's it let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output the data with images are binded into this repeater control using store procedure these images the original images I have stored in the project folder and this images path I have stored in this user registration table under profile pick column that's it